So we define the upper and lower sums. And one may question what the relation is with other sampling methods that we use, like the left endpoint, right endpoint, or the midpoint sampling method. So here is a general uh, Riemann sum where xi star is basically the selection, the sample point which is drawn from a d interval xi minus 1 xi, so the ith interval of length delta x. Yeah, so in the right endpoint treatment, uh, we've chosen xi star to be xi, which is the right endpoint in this interval. The left endpoint selected xi star equals equal to xi minus 1, and the midpoint is taking the average of xi minus 1 and xi. So xi star equals a half times xi minus 1 plus a half times xi. Well, we know that this is an arbitrary selection, basically, not depending on the function value, but the upper sums we chose the maximum over f, and in the lower uh, sums we've chosen the minimum on an interval. So the lower sums are always smaller than an arbitrary selection, and this is again smaller than the upper sum, arbitrary upper sum. Now, what if the limit of lnf equals the limit of n to infinity unf? Well, in this case we would say, well, the function is Riemann integrable over the interval a, b, but then also by the uh, squeeze theorem for sequences, we see that the left limit, the limit of the term on the left-hand side equals the limit on the right-hand side, and which means that the limit of n to infinity of the sum of i is 1 to n of fxi star times delta x should be i as well. So, in this sense, it doesn't matter when we know that this limit exists. It, it, it doesn't matter what kind of a sampling method we use, since these all give rise to the same number, which is a definite integral over a, b of fx, dx.